Germany's Leopard 2 main battle tank has a reputation as one of the finest in the world. Competing for that distinction with proven designs such as the American M1 Abrams and the British Challenger 2. This German MBT was designed by Krauss Maffei throughout the 1970s as a successor to the earlier Leopard 1 MBT. Entering service with the West German Army in 1979, the Leopard 2 had received numerous modernization upgrades since then. With Germany and the Netherlands as the major operators of the vehicle, and with a number of other NATO nations also receiving orders, a total of approximately 3,500 vehicles were built. Following the Cold War, Germany sold most of their Leopard 2s to various allies, including Austria, Canada, Chile, Denmark, Finland, Greece, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Singapore, Spain, Sweden, and Turkey. The Leopard 2 is considered to be one of the premier MBTs in operation today. Now that we know the tank's background, let's talk about the Leopard 2 specifications. The Leopard 2 MBT is a 137,000 pound or 62.3 ton vehicle that is approximately 33 feet long with the main weapon oriented in a forward direction, 12.25 feet wide and 10 feet in height to the top of the turret roof. The vehicle is operated by a crew of four consisting of a driver, loader, gunner, and commander. The crew layout is traditional, with the driver located at the front center towards the right-hand side and the others located within the turret. The main weapon of the Leopard tank is the 120mm Rheinmetall L55 smoothbore gun. Moreover, the vehicle is powered by a 1,500 horsepower MTU-MB873 liquid-cooled V12 twin-turbo diesel engine. A HSWL354 transmission provides four forward gears and two reverse gears, and the vehicle is equipped with a torsion bar suspension and advanced friction dampers. Seven dual rubber tire road wheels and four return rollers provide the vehicle running gear on each side, with a forward idler wheel and a rear drive sprocket. The vehicle is able to obtain speeds of 45 miles per hour, is able to drive through water 13 feet deep without alteration through the use of a snorkel, can climb three-foot-high vertical obstacles and travel 340 miles with the 1,200 liters of internally stored fuel. With a design emphasis on mobility, the Leopard 2 is regarded as without competition in regards to speed and cross-country capability. Most fielded Leopard 2s have been upgraded from the earlier Leopard 2A1, 2A2, and 2A3 versions, to either the Leopard 2A4 or 2A5 designation, with principal modifications being to the weapon, firing control system, and armor package. The latest fielded version is the Leopard 2A6. A Leopard 2A7 Plus configuration has also been developed, but this involves only minor subsystem upgrades compared to the 2A6 version. The 2A7 package can be selected by customers as a future optional upgrade. Next, we need to know about the Leopard 2's armament. The primary weapon of the Leopard 2 MBT is the 120mm Rheinmetall smoothbore gun. Developed by the Germans and recognized as one of the premium guns of its class in the world, this weapon is built under license by many other NATO and allied nations for their own MBTs, including the M1 Abrams. The Leopard 2A1 had the 120mm L44 installed, while later configurations were provided with the L55 version. The L designation is for length, and the numerical value indicates the length of the barrel in proportion to the weapon caliber of the barrel. So, L44 is a barrel with a length equal to 44 times the diameter of the gun tube. The L55 is more than 4 feet longer than the L44 barrel. 
As barrel length increases, the muzzle velocity of exiting rounds corresponding increases, improving both accuracy, flatter trajectory, and lethality. The significant increase in barrel length of the L-55 versus the L-44. As the primary ammunition for the 120mm cannon consists of armor-piercing and high-explosive rounds, the latest rounds are of a fifth-generation configuration. The anti-tank round is the DM-63 armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabo Tracer APF-SDS-T, specifically designed for optimized performance in high temperature, i.e. desert environments. The DM-63 replaced the previous DM-53 APF-SDS-T, which itself replaces the DM-33, DM-23, and the original DM-13 APF-SDS-T round. Each evolutionary step of the round tended to increase the length to diameter ratio, thereby improving penetration capability. While the secondary weaponry consists of 7.62mm MG3A1 machine guns provided with 4,750 rounds of ammunition, the Leopard 2A7 Plus vehicle has also been upgraded to provide a FLW200 Remote Control Weapon Station RCWS, ensuring that the weapon operator is not exposed during firing as is the case with the roof-mounted 7.62mm MG3 machine gun. The FLW200 can be configured to fire a 50 caliber 5.56mm or 7.62mm machine gun or a 40mm grenade launcher, all of which are fully stabilized. The unit is operated by the vehicle commander and targeting is provided through a charge-coupled device or CCD day camera and a thermal imager. A laser rangefinder is also provided to evaluate target distance. In terms of design, the Leopard 2 MBT is constructed from welded ballistic steel, to which supplement add-on armor AOA modules are added. The AOA consists of a third-generation composite solution optimized to defeat shaped charged warheads, as used in heat rounds, RPGs, and ATGMs. The vehicle also offered protection of the vehicle and its occupants against both large-caliber kinetic energy penetrators and shaped charge warheads. The vehicle front arc armor is up to 31 inches thick and has been suggested as able to provide protection against a standard Soviet 125mm APF-SDS round at 1,500 yards. As we know, the Leopard tank has a reputation as one of the best in the world. However, that reputation for nigh invincibility has faced setbacks on Syrian battlefields, and placed Berlin in a uniquely awkward national-level dispute with Turkey, its fellow NATO member. This was shockingly illustrated in December 2016, when evidence emerged that numerous Leopard 2s had been destroyed in intense fighting over Islamic State-held al-Bab, a fight that Turkish military leaders described as a trauma, according to Der Spiegel. A document published online listed the Islamic State as apparently having destroyed 10 of the supposedly invincible Leopard 2s, 5 reportedly by anti-tank missiles, 2 by mines or IEDs, 1 to rocket or mortar fire, and the others to more ambiguous causes. These photos, analyzed by Bellingcat, confirm the destruction of at least 8. One shows a Leopard 2 apparently knocked out by a suicide VBEID, an armored kamikaze truck packed with explosives. Another had its turret blown clean off. Three Leopard wrecks can be seen around the same hospital near Al-Bab, along with several other Turkish armored vehicles. Actually, later versions of the Leopard 2, starting with the A5, have greatly improved the all-around armor protection. As it turned out, the ideas of the 1970s didn't turn out quite as they expected. But the A4 is really still a Cold War tank and is not suited to today's engagements. So what is going wrong there? We can see in most of the videos that the tanks are advancing over open terrain on their own, without infantry support, and their opponents are able to shoot at the weak side armor. 
What that demonstrates is simply that the Turkish army lacks decent training and experience in combined arms warfare at that time. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for other awesome videos.